one of the things about watching older films is that they didn't have all the technology that we have today. They didn't have the the big four by four frames that we're using. They didn't have the LED lights. They didn't have the soft lights. They didn't have the 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 sensitive film stock and cameras, digital sensors. Now that we have, um, so so a lot of things they did back then. They did with a lot of hard light. So their main light, their fill light, their back light would all be hard light, um, with very little little way to control it. Um, so if you want to look, let's look at a film like Citizen Kane with Greg Tolan. And Greg Tolan did some amazing work in these films. Let's look at a couple frame grabs here and uh, kind of analyze what's going on. All right, this first frame, two men having a conversation, uh, almost completely in silhouette, um, some smoke in the air. And what you really get here is you see these hard shadows coming through the windows. Um, now, as I look at them, you know, these shadows don't look like they're coming from the same angle. So it's probably two lights outside, but they're probably big 10, 20K lights, um, depending on, you know, I don't know how this was shot, if this was shot during the day or on stage or whatnot, but um, so big lights coming through and creating this, these shafts of light in the smoke and, and, and really giving an ominous mood to this, this whole conversation where you're not seeing the, the faces, you're not seeing really what they're wearing other than, you know, you can, you can vaguely tell it's a suit. You really can't see the, the environment except for the, the, the light that's hitting the desk and it's kind of hitting that, that, this one, the back gentleman on his, on his hip and his arm. Um, and yet they're, they're perfectly separated from the background. There's no mushiness. There's no distraction of where you should be looking in these frames. Um, it's just a, another example where, where simple lighting, simple hard lighting can really create such a dramatic effect. Here's another version of the same conversation where now the camera has come down lower and, and the smoke and, and the light is shining right at the, the gentleman in the foreground and, and separating him, putting him almost in complete silhouette. You, know, you see the little edge of, of light around the top of his head. Uh, you still have the hard light coming in from the, the back uh, behind the second gentleman. You see a little bit more of what's on the desk. You see the coffee cup and whatnot and the lamp on the desk. Um, but the, the shot just is very powerful. You get this, this, this huge, um, almost like X figure shape between the lamp and the, the, the arm of the guys in the front. And you know exactly where the tension is here. Um, again, simple lighting, simple smoke effect, and um, classic iconic images from, a, from an iconic cinematographer. And this third image, this is perfect. Um, th this single um, light source image coming from the top through some sort of window, um, the, the smoke, the haze, the backlight, the just showing off the uniform on the right, the complete silhouette of the woman on the left, the table. Um, I, I don't know what else to say about these. These are just simple, great images uh, that can be, be achieved with hard light. And, and now, you know, I, I think here, now's a great time to talk about the, the difference here. When these people were shooting this, these cinematographers were shooting this, you know, they weren't, they weren't using a high ISO and trying to just get an exposure on the film. They were using slow film that did not record a lot of ambient light and they were using powerful lights coming through the background. So this is the almost the exact opposite of the cinematography you get, you see a lot of today where you have people using high ISOs. So shooting at 2000 ISO uh, with a, a, a light panel, a little one by one light panel and, and okay, so sure, you're going to get an exposure and you're going to be able to light the person in a more pleasing way, but you're not going to be able to create the dramatic, iconic imagery that you can create with big, hard light sources. Uh, you know, in conversations uh, with other cinematographers, there's really, they, they think about it in, in terms of two different types of lights. They think about either mimicking the sun or filling in the sun, right? Big lights, small lights, 10Ks, 20Ks, uh, whatnot, or small lights, 100s, 200s, um, Kina flows, light panels, small lights to fill in the sun. So big lights through windows, small lights to control contrast um, or, or to, to call effect to a certain area. Here's a perfect example where big light through a window um, just gives you that, that beautiful, iconic image that you're not going to get with the way people are shooting today.